Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today we're gonna be completing the quest Ethically Acquired Antiques. The quest requirements are Children of the Sun and Shield of RF. Skill requirement is 25 thieving. There are no required items. For the recommendations is some weight reducing clothing or a couple of energy potions and have at least two empty inventory slots. For the teleports is 3000 coins or one teleport to Port Serum, one teleport to Verrock, as well as one teleport to Varlamore from the Verrock Museum, which is pretty close to the Quetzal. And then maybe also one teleport away after the quest is completed. Now, where to start this quest is here in the Grand Museum of Varlamore, just located northeast of the Fortis Teleport and the Quetzals. In the northeastern part, let's inspect the empty display. Close the user interface and then select option 1 to start the quest. Next, go a bit west and talk to the curator. Let's select option 4. Could you tell me about that empty display? And he will appreciate your help as the authorities take too long to make any progress. Next, go a bit northeast and northeast of the empty display, let's investigate the tools. Inspect the empty display again, click to continue, and next we will need to talk to a couple of NPCs. Let's talk to a citizen, tourist, and academic. The third NPC that you talk to will mention that they saw a suspicious looking man heading outside through the front door to the Quetzals. Next, let's head outside and go to the Quetzals. Let's talk to Regulus Sento and select option 2. And he will say that the suspicious man is not allowed on the Quetzals. And that they made their way east. After the conversation is over, let's head east to the Fortis. Let's either talk to the woman or the man of the trader crew member and select option 3. Have you seen a man with a case? Then select option 1 as long as it's just one small favor. Next, let's head south and exit the Fortis. South of the southern entrance to the Fortis, south of the furnace, they'll find the crafting store. Let's head inside and use the tattered sails on Aritma and select option 1, go on then, and she will fix up the tattered sails. Once we have the fixed up sails, let's make our way back to the trader crew members. Let's use the sails on either the man or the woman, and they will say that they have taken the man to Port Serum. So, either teleport to Port Serum or charter to Port Serum. This will cost 3000 GP, or if you've completed the quest Cabin Fever, that will cost 1500 coins. Let's cross the gangplank and talk to any of the crew members. Let's select option 3, have you seen any grey haired man? And after the conversation is over, let's head north to the magic store of Betty as they will mention that the suspicious man was looking for some runes. Let's talk to Betty in the most northwestern building, the magic store, and select option 2. Have you seen a grey-haired man with a case? Betty will now give you some notes. This riddle are the runes that the grey-haired man is looking for. The runes that the man was looking for is a Varrock teleport. Let's make our way to Verrock. And let's head northeast to the Verrock Museum. On our way to the museum, let's click and read on Betty's notes, else we cannot continue with this quest. Maybe also click to continue afterwards. Alright. Let's head into the museum and let's talk to curator Hag Halen. Let's select 
option through that you're looking for Xerna Diedem. After the conversation is over, right click and pickpocket for a store key. Next, let's head northeast and use a store key on the door behind the stairs and search the crate just in front of you and you'll find the missing item. Let's go through the door again and let's talk to the curator. Let's select option 2 and this will trigger a short cutscene that you found the Xir Durnum. And what we'll now need to do is try to get the shame meter to 100%. This can be done by selecting the option that either shames or scares the curator. The order for all of these options is random for everyone, and there are quite a lot of them. I've written down quite a lot of them, but I don't think that this is even half. Just select the option that either shames or scares the curator and do so until the shame meter is 100%. Once the shame meter is at 100%, this will trigger another cutscene. Make sure that after the cutscene is over that you skip through all the dialogue. Next, we'll need to make our way to the Varlamore Grand Museum. You can do so by teleporting straight to Fortis if you've completed the Twilight's Promise quest, or simply head southeast and take the Quetzal basically outside of the Grand Museum. Let's head back inside and let's talk to the curator. Let's select option 4 about the empty display, and this will complete your quest. And congratulations, you've completed the Ethically Acquired Antiques quest. You are awarded with 1 quest point, 6,000 thieving experience and 5,000 coins. Now the storm key can also be destroyed. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.